And while we're still on the topic of state management in the Redux Toolkit reducers, let's also cover an alternative option. And that is simply the fact that we can return a new state from the reducer. So let me comment this one out. Let me type here return. But we need to be aware of the major gotcha. And that is following whatever we will return from reducer as our new state will become the new state. So let's say if I'm going to return a, an empty object, yes, our state will immediately turn into an empty object without any of these properties. Same works if I'm going to return here, empty array. So let's say if I return an object, and if I just say cart items equals to an empty array, yes, I will update this property. But automatically, I'll remove these ones. Just to showcase that, let me save it. Let me click on clear cart, and you'll notice that now I have nothing here as far as the amount, as well as the total. And I can clearly see that if I navigate to the DevTools. So let me open up the Redux DevTools on a small browser window. And then when it comes to our state, notice all of the properties are missing now. Only the cart items is there. So let me comment this one out and let's take a look at the use case where this is going to come in handy. So in one of our upcoming projects, we'll have some pages and in there we'll have a bunch of inputs that are going to be our state values. And essentially there's also going to be a clear button. And the idea is like this. Once the user starts typing something, let's say changes some values around here, at some point maybe he or she wants to clear out all the input values. So in that case, we're going to take that initial state and we'll just return that from our reducer. So let's say you set up here state with whatever default values. And then when you have the reducer that just sets it back to default, you just pass that initial state as a return in your reducer. So that's one of the use cases where this comes in handy. But we do need to be careful. Again, whatever we're going to return from the reducer will become that new state value. So if we omit some of the properties, yes, they will be excluded 